Instagram, what's up? Hi, Facebook. So today I'm going to do two recipes for you this morning. I didn't get to do them last night because I had other plans, so it wasn't a Wednesday like normal, but um, it's new meal planned. Yay! And the really super, super, super exciting thing about the meal plans is this meal plan and all of the meal plans this month are going to have pressure cooker recipes. They're going to have recipes you can do just in your pressure cooker, legit pressure cooker, not this cook somewhere else and put it in there and no, 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 whole thing in the pressure cooker or Instapot. And to celebrate that we're gonna have these Instapot and pressure cooker recipes all month long on the meal plans, there's a massive giveaway. You can win a free Instapot today on getmealplans.com. So if you don't yet have a pressure cooker or an Instapot and you want one, hop on over so you can win one today. It's today, Thursday. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna do two recipes. So I'm gonna make one of the pressure cooker recipes from the current meal plan, which is the Indian spiced potatoes in my pressure cooker. And since that's gonna be doing its thing, I'll have time to also make the fogetti. So it's really nice to sort of be able to have one doing its thing while another. So it's sort of like a mini batch, a little bit of a multitask, you know, fun times, fun times. Um, anyway, so I got my water boiling for my pasta. That's the only prep I did. So I'm going to be a little scattered with my prep, but I know you guys like watching me fumble around. So anyway, um, this is, again, the December 6th meal plan from GetMealPlans.com. You'll mentor Indian spice potatoes and the fogetti pressure cooker recipe. Oh, and if you don't have a pressure cooker, no problem. We include directions for how to do it normal on the stove, too. So you're, you're not out of luck if you don't have one. Okay. So I'm going to slide you guys down. Instagram, we're going to have a little fun trying to do demo with the phone and all these things, but we're all, we're all good. So the first thing I'm going to do is the pressure cooking part. So like I said, Indian spice potatoes. And so I need my broth here. So I don't actually have an Instapot. I did for a while, but I like my Cuisinart pressure cooker a little bit better, but it's the same for both. And so I'm just going to start by putting broth in there and getting it at the saute function just so it warms up a little bit. And so while that's warming, I can prep all of my little ingredients and stuff that needs to go on. I also got these little tiny, aren't they cute? I belong to imperfect produce, like produce that's rejected from the grocery store comes directly to my house and it's organic. Um, I think you guys saw my giant potato from a few weeks ago. Anyway, yesterday I got these because they're too small for the regular grocery store, but are they not the cutest things ever? They're so cute. So I'm, I'm using these today in my recipe. Um, making it work, I always use just whatever onion I have to be totally honest with you guys. I don't... If, even if the recipe is like, oh, use this onion, I'm like, well, let's see what onion I have. That's what I love about the recipes on the meal plans is they are that flexible and forgiving to use literally whatever you have. Alrighty, so what do I need first? Is my onion, and of course I do have my mini food processor out and ready to help me be my little mini assistant in the kitchen, my sous chef. Come on over, baby. There he is. this guy up. I hope everyone's having an awesome day today. We are off. Um, and if you haven't been watching the news, I'll talk real quick. We're off because of all the big fires. So um, on the one hand, I'm really bummed about all the fires. But on the other hand, I'm kind of it's kind of nice to have a day off to be able to like cook some stuff. So definitely this time of year. Um, okay. You guys still see? Okay, cool. So there we are. My onions all ready. Just dump that up on uh, in there. Yeah. Let's see what else do I need. I need my garlic. Same, same. Just gonna stick it right in here. Why mess around? I had garlic. There it is. And I buy the pre-peeled guys. I'm super lazy. I just I don't have time to peel those papers off the garlic. I'll do it once in a while, but... And you guys know me, I usually throw in extra garlic. See how fast it is? This is why I love this thing. It's so fast. So now I'm just going to throw this in here, too. I don't know if you guys can hear it yet, but it's starting to bubble. So it's definitely starting to saute for me. So that's great. Move this out of the way. Uh-oh, Facebook, come back to life. 
All right, let's see. What else do I need to do? I need a red bell pepper. Get my sticker off. Oh, I think Instagram, you guys can still see me. Oh, this is actually, the setup is working pretty well. I wasn't sure with the addition of the, in the pressure cooker in my space today, but so far we're doing pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to dice this really quickly. I don't worry about uniform because I'm just going to eat it, so I don't care that it's not the most perfect. I don't usually do my peppers in my little mini food processor because... I find it cuts it too small, but that is an option for you. I just like a, I don't like a super small piece of bell pepper in this dish. I like more of a, you know, true dice. All right, so now I'm just going to put these guys in here. All in. All right, and so Instagram, I'll pick you up. You can see what's going on. So you can see it's definitely sautéing just like a pot. And that's one of the things I love about this and why I take it with me traveling is because with this sauté feature, and I don't know what it's called on the Instapot. On mine, it's called sauté. Just so you can see. You can hear it. It's basically the same. It's basically the same as a stovetop. So this is why I cook with it in hotel rooms when I travel most of the year. So while that's going, um, I'll chop up my potatoes. And again, this came with my ugly produce um, you can see it's kind of ugly. It came from my imperfect produce because it's kind of ugly, but it's still edible, and I'm going to eat it and put it in this dish. And I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just really, really love what they do. And so while that stuff's sauteing, I'm just going to chop up the rest of my potato here. And I do my potato cubes kind of big for the pressure cooker just because I don't want them to be too mushy. But that's a personal preference. I like it to be a little bit firmer. But if you like a really soft potato, especially in sort of the Indian dishes, you could cut it a little smaller. Mine's, you can see it's about that size. Like the tip of my thumb, I guess, would probably be a good measure. And again, I'm not worried about size or shape. I did wash these potatoes when they came in my box because they were still covered in dirt. I know you guys are always asking me, do I wash stuff? And usually I don't. But um, these were really dirty when I got them, like still covered in dirt. So they did get a bath. Before today... I had to actually, like, basically soak them in water to get all of the dirt off. Let's see. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Almost done with my chopping here. And this is the same. I probably could have put this in my mini food processor, but... Chopping's pretty easy. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a look in there, see how everything is sauteing for me. Where are all my utensils? It's, it's just like on the stovetop. I'm just stirring it around while it's sauteing. It's not really any different. And since my water is boiling, I'm gonna add my pasta for my next dish. I mention this every time, but so on the meal plans, it calls for pasta in ounces, and you don't need a weight, a scale, or anything like that, because what it is, is I can see that this is, you know, one pound, which is 16 ounces, so if it calls for eight ounces, I know it's exactly half of this, and so you can just eyeball, make it really easy, don't overthink it, don't overdo it. I am not having luck opening this package today. There we go. You know, cooking can be very intuitive. I find most people overthink it or make it way more complicated than it needs to be. I used to be that way, too. A little more or less of something isn't going to ruin it. So, okay, now I have my pasta here. Okay. 
pasta is going. Oh, Facebook, come back to life. Okay, so now that this is all nice and sauteed, I can just continue down with my recipe. So, need my measuring spoons. With, I know I normally don't use, you guys usually don't see me using measuring spoons, but with Indian spices, I definitely tend to measure just because a little too much can sometimes be too much for me. Adding my coriander and my chili powder, especially with these hotter spices. Cumin. Mixing that all around. And all I have to do after this is add my potatoes and set it to go. Okay. Now I can just add these tomatoes that I chopped up. Let's see what else do I need to add. Oh, my ketchup. Can't forget my ketchup. And I use, you guys know this is the brand I use. It's unsweetened. But whatever ketchup you have is fine. And the same thing, I really like a little extra tomato flavoring here, so I always add a little bit extra ketchup. And I, miss, I need one more spice needs to come in here. Where did you go? Maybe you're still in the drawer. I knew I forgot one. All right. So what I'm going to do now is just mix this all around just like I would, can you guys see it okay? Just like I would on the stove, mixing it around. Instagram, I can pick you guys up. So mixing it around just like a normal stove dish. I'm going to add the rest of my broth and then I'm going to set it to pressure cook. And while it's doing its thing, I'm going to cook my next meal. So let me add the rest of my broth here. Put it on. Let's see, what did it say? Uh-oh. That would be one of my dogs. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. That's Quaid singing. He uh, serenades us like an opera singer, mostly when Scott comes or goes. Scott left, so he's crying. Anyway, so it's now on. It's doing its thing. I don't know if you could see it. Six minutes. So I'm just going to push it out of the way, and it's just going to cook while I finish making the rest of my food. So on to the next dish. i got to get my spaghetti down in this water so it cooks. Alexa, set timer for five minutes. Five minutes, I, starting now. I apologize to anyone whose timer just got set with mine. It's so funny that that happens. All right, so now I'm on to a whole different recipe. Same thing. Um, I'm going to use my mini, my mini guy here to help me out with my onion. Make it a little easy on myself. These little baby onions, they're so cute, right? Like, this is the cutest thing ever. It's so adorable. I'm so excited. I have so many pogs. Oh, Quay, did you come over to join us instead of crying alone in the corner? Did you? Can you guys see him? He's like right, he's like right there. Yeah, you guys can see him. He can see you. Oh, Mateus is coming over to say hi to you, buddy. Mateus is like, please don't be sad. I'm here. Okay. Same thing. so fast. Like, how fast was that? I just am not that fast with my hand, which is why I love this thing. Okay. I can hear my pressure cooker going over there, too. Awesome. Okay. Move this out of the way again. I'm going to start my saute.
So while that's sauteing, I'm going to chop my mushrooms, and then all I have to do is whisk my sauce and then throw it all together when it's done. So it's really, really easy for me. It's such an – and this is one of those menus or one of these meals that it looks long, like there's a lot of ingredients, but all it is is spices you whisk together. So don't let those kind of recipes sort of scare you off because they're, they're yummy and they're good and they're easy. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now I just have to chop up these mushrooms here. Nobody eat the mushroom. Let's see. Oh, fun thing. Not so fun thing. Mushrooms poisonous to dogs, so definitely don't let your dogs eat a mushroom if you drop one. And my dogs kind of think anything that falls on the floor is theirs, so I have to be very diligent about that. So mushrooms are my favorite thing to chop. I think I've mentioned that before. If you want to practice your knife skills, I think mushrooms are the most perfect medium for practicing. It's how I learned to become really fast was from mushrooms. I just like the texture of them when they get cut. It's, I don't know, it's the right like pressure and it's soft and it just really helps you kind of learn your speed and your rhythm. At least it did for me. So chop, chop, chop. And I could have cheated and bought sliced mushrooms at the store. I thought about it. They were like a dollar more this week, so I decided to just get the regular mushrooms and cut them myself because sometimes it's a principal thing for me. But most of the times I choose the lazy option no matter what. Okay. So here we go. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the pressure cooker just got to pressure. It makes a certain sort of like pressure sounding noise. Big surprise when it gets there. All right. So now that I've chopped all my mushrooms, I can just set these aside while I wait. I can make my sauce in the meantime. Hi guys, the party over here. I know I've shared this tip before, but a lot of times when I make my sauces, instead of whisking, I just put it in a jar and shake, do a little shake, shake, shake. So that's what I'm going to do today. This is just an old jam jar from like forever ago. The sticker's still on it, but that's how I do. So let's see. What do I need to make my sauce? Broth. And I'm back to not measuring. So oh, maybe we'll measure this one. And I'm trying a new, this is a new vegan Worcestershire sauce that I found. I don't, I don't know this one, but um, I make it a lot of times because there's a, reg a recipe in all my cookbooks, but sometimes I'll, you know, cheat and get, get one. And I've been buying um, one brand for years, and they didn't have it, so I'm trying a new one. Let's see some soy sauce. Garlic powder. Oh, I definitely don't need to measure that because more the merrier. And why not a little bit more? Garlic, ginger. Cinnamon. Do I have my cinnamon out? I don't think I got my cinnamon out. Alexa, stop. Okay, and so that is it for my sauce. So as I mentioned, instead of whisking, I just put it in this little jar, and I'm just going to shake the heck out of it, and that's it. That's all I needed to do for my sauce. So now I can check my pasta, see if that's done. Oh, look out, Tayus. My pasta is not yet done, but we're getting there. Meanwhile, I can add my veggies. So this recipe calls for stir-fry vegetables, and it's the same thing. I don't need to do any kind of magical measurement. I don't need a scale. It calls for 8 ounces of stir-fry vegetables. This bag was 16 ounces. I used half last time, so I know it's half the bag. Just really kind of keeping it easy, plus a little more or less veg isn't going to make or break the dish. So I'm just going to add that here. I also have, this. since my husband's going to be eating this, I have some broccoli left over that I need to get rid of, so I'm going to throw that in too because, like I said, a little more or less vegetable does not ruin the dish, so I'm going to add that too. Okay. 
there, trying to get rid of the end of the week. I'm trying to get rid of the last of everything. Um, so I'm just going to let that heat up really quick. Uh, you can, I'm adding peas to the potatoes once they get warm, so that's why they're out. And then for this dish, I'll probably add some leftover tofu, because I think I have some sriracha tofu, because you guys know I always have tons of that sriracha tofu around. Um, I'll probably add that too, just to bulk it up a little bit for my husband. So. That, so while I'm sort of waiting for everybody to get going, oh, I forgot about my mushrooms. All right, we'll add those in. That happens sometimes. No big deal. I forgot to saute my mushrooms. I was so excited about everything else. No big deal. No big deal. We'll just get back to cooking those. Okay. It happens. Cool. Whatever. All right, so I can start cleaning up my mess a little bit while, while we're waiting. So this is one of the things that I'll do is I'll just start to, because, I mean, it's four minutes left on the pressure cooker. My pasta's not done. I forgot about my mushrooms. Say la vie. Just closing up everything. Putting all the tops back on. Giving myself a little break of cleanup. All these guys come on over. And see, it's all generic stuff. All generic stuff. Let's see, what else am I missing? Clean, 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 clean. I'm going to leave you out. Sometimes I like to add more graham marsala to the potatoes when they're done. So I will leave that one out. Get all this stuff to go in the sink. Let's see, what else do I need to do? All my waste can go in my compost. I have one of these mini compost things and it's just so helpful for all of my kitchen scraps. Theoretically, I would make broth from all my kitchen scraps, but I haven't been that, uh, I haven't had that kind of initiative in a long time. So now they just get composted, which is fine because that still counts. Let's see that aside. Yeah, so it's just my random kitchen scraps. Not very exciting. Okay, so while that's all going, and you can see now my workspace is much cleaner. It's just like, you can see, it's a lot cleaner. All I'm going to have to do is a quick wipe when I'm done and put the spices away. So that just made everything easy too. All right, so... Mix this around... I cannot believe I forgot to cook my mushrooms. Okay. But it happens. Okay, let me check on this pasta. Oh, I think it's done. Yep, it's done. Okay, so, ah, and that's my pressure cooker letting me know it's done. So now I'm going to let old, old Faithful come out and play. So what I do is just bring it forward here. And so it's done, so I'm going to release the pressure. Not a whole lot of pressure today. It's pretty minimal. And so potatoes are done. Now I just have to mix the pasta with the vegetables, and I'm done, guys. Super awesome. Super awesome. So, I don't know how much you guys can see. So, this is just steaming its way through its day. And my noodles are done. So, what I'm going to do is take my shake, shake, shake sauce and pour it on the noodles. Get them all nice and coated.
check out my vegetables here. Put this away too. Blowing up my recipe, that's so funny. <sighs> Sometimes waiting is the worst part of the whole thing. Sometimes that's the worst part. But anyway, I'm all done. So, where we go? So, my potatoes are now done. Oh, they look so pretty. Oh, yay. Now, if you take yours off and your potatoes aren't done, like let's say that they're you know, not tender enough. You can just leave it on the warm or the saute setting until they are done. So you can see, you can see my potatoes. See, is that great? Awesome. Pick you guys up. So, and I have actually made this in my hotel room, this exact dish. What I did was I took all my spices in a little Ziploc baggie. And then um, I bought the potatoes in a portobello, or port portobello, potatoes in a bell pepper, and I just like chopped it up, put it in with the spices from the baggie, and had this in our hotel room. Um, I've made this in an RV, like you name it, I've done it. This is one of my favorite, this is probably my favorite Instapot pressure cooker recipe, because I always have it. I always, even if there's no bell peppers around, if you just have, I will make it sometimes just with potatoes from my pantry and peas from my freezer. It's like one of those amazing pantry dishes too. So I just, I love this dish. So I hope you guys make it because it's my favorite one. But it's all done. And my vegetables, my vegetables have finished. See, the mushrooms have been saved. So now I just need to mix it with my pasta. And, and that's all, folks. So thanks for hanging out with me while I... Did my two meals, super fun to do two at once. It was like a little bit of a mini batch. Uh, like I mentioned, this is from the current meal plan, which came out yesterday. It's the 12-6, June, December 6, 2007 meal plan. This whole month has pressure cooker recipes, so if you wanna get your Instapot out of the box, these meal plans the next month, we'll make sure you do that. And also, if you don't have one yet and you wanna win one, pop on over to getmealplans.com today. Have a beautiful day, everyone. For all my friends in California, I hope you're safe from the fires. And um, yeah, all right, bye.